Benue State is one out of the 36 states of Nigeria. It is acclaimed to be the food basket of the nation owing to its rich agricultural produce which includes yam, rice, beans, cassava, sweet potato, maize, soybean, sorghum, millet, sesame, cocoa yam and lots more. The state accounts for over 70 percent of Nigeria's soybean production. Uh, Benue State has both the comparative and competitive advantage to uh, contribute uh, about 75 percent of the uh, GDP of, ben of Nigeria because the over in West Africa there is no land that is most fertile like Benue land and uh, let me pick one crop and give you an example like cassava. The cassava that is produced in Benue State, and uh, uh, let me tell you, cassava is not the main production uh, crop in Benue State. The little we produce is we have 20% of world uh, capacity of production. So I tell you that we have available opportunities and we have the capacity, we have the potentials, we have the comparative advantage. And I do hope by the time we move progressively to processing and marketing, sky will be our limit. So we still remain the food basket of the nation. No state can beat us and I still maintain that. Agriculture is the mainstay of the economy, engaging over 75% of the state farming population. Benue State also boasts of one of the longest stretches of river systems in the country with great potential for a viable fishing industry, dry season farming through irrigation and for an inland waterway. Hence the choice to benefit from the EFAD Federal Government Value Chain Development Program VCDP. In Benue State, we are supporting two uh, value chains cassava and rice value chain, Benue State. And we're into five local government of Logo, Goma, Gwe, East local government, Opakwan of Badibo local government. From our 2016 um, support to farmers, we'll be able to support 2,186 2, hectares of rice last year and uh, 1,900 hectares of cassava. Uh, about 5,000 farmers benefited from the support, both from production and processing. We are able to invest the history of Benue State, pilot the dry season rice farm in the state. As you can see, this site we are in today, we started with them last year, 2016 dry season. The farmers were supported with the aid of this uh, water you are seeing here. We are able to support them with uh, the technical know-how. We are able to give them some basic equipment like uh, water pumps. We provided them with uh, some inputs and we also hire uh, uh, service providers to train them. Because what we find out on the course of the job was that Benue farmers look at dry season as time that they will rest. And uh, the project introduced this dry season to them, and these farmers of this community embrace it. And today, they are all scaling from what we piloted with them from one to two per each of them. So you can see the fields. They are doing it today on their own without us hiring anybody to support them. The youth acquire the knowledge, the women acquire the knowledge, and they are doing well. Are there any impact made on the farmers as the program is aimed at empowering rural poor households? I am the secretary of BEMDO Committee of Friends Turin, popularly known as BCF Turin. E-Farm Value Chain have been supporting us, giving us equipment to farm. And I have value a lot in this equipment they have given to us. And I was able to farm rice, I produce many bags. I paid them their loan and I left with enough money to construct this ferry, properly known as Baji in our village here. We used to convey vehicles, cross vehicles. And we are hoping by this year 2017, if they have given us enough uh, inputs, we will produce more and we will produce many other things. We can build houses, 
we can buy motor vehicles that will aid us in producing more farm in the year 2017. We are very grateful with what IFAD is doing for us today. Formerly we are in our local rice mill where we produce a lot of rice that we cannot compete with the foreign rice that are coming from movers. We don't have dextoners, we don't have polishers, we don't have weighing machine, we sell by measuring things and all that is. It, it deprives us a lot of, of benefits that we are supposed to achieve from what we are doing. Today with the introduction of this facility, we believe it's going to change our status. I am very happy with IFAD VCDP programs. I pray that uh, the present government has brought this program that is helping us very well. One is here in Alede. You can witness another one at Tutubo, another one at Tupoku, the other one at Logo. They are about starting another one at Goma. So I pray that uh, it should continue and even this government, when it goes away, another government, government is continuous. The other one should come and continue with this program because it's helping us seriously. With the dry season rice production, I sold it and put into rainy season uh, rice. Then I, I was able to harvest much and through the help of IFAD and OLAM again, I had bumper harvest. And when I saw it, among other things that I did, is this car. I bought the car with it. And the car is now helping me to go to farm, come back, carry people, carry loads. And even what I harvest on the farm, I carry it in the car. I, I really appreciate the government of Benue State for bringing IFAD, the program of IFAD in our state. And I also thank God for opening my eyes to see it and join. It has really helped me and the entire family. Any plans to sustain, expand, or replicate this succeeding model across the state? Already our farmers have cashed the business and they are ready with the model, they are ready with the uh, arrangement, the off-taker uh, plan put in place, and um, it's already imbibed in their culture. You know, I earlier said it, and I'm going to repeat here, Benway farmers are not, uh, they are, whatever program you put in place to them, provided they, they know that it's, uh, it's sustaining at, and uh, it, it, it is pay-like uh, program, it's very easy for them to adapt and uh, uh, push it forward. And uh, going forward, I believe uh, it will be in, in the near future, all the local government will just uh, uh, take advantage of this uh, model put in place. And, and already, Benway State Government has started putting plans in place. Like you can see in this year budget, uh, a lot of uh, money has been budgeted for land development and land clearing. This is in line with the IFAD model. And we hope that this is one of the sustainable arrangements that the Benway State Government is putting in place. And uh, it is based on the IFAD VCD program that we are copying and we hope we will progressively and uh, continually uh, replicate all the models put in place. The vegetation of the southern part of the state is characterized by forest, which yields trees for timber and provides a suitable habitat for rare animal types and species. The state thus possesses potentials for development of viable forest and wildlife reserves. Although the purpose for this visit is to assess the impact of the VCDP on farming and processing of rice and cassava, we employ you to enjoy viewing the numerous potentials bound in Benue State. Thanks for coming. Because they say farming is business. You can never see where a, a businessman will close his shop. So we are no longer closing the farm. We are always on the farm. From this side, you turn it this way, 
from this way on and on and on and on. Wow, and that's wonderful. Life, you I feel like know. singing a song from uh, yes, here yes, because yes, you have yes. benefited <laughs> a lot. So tell us, like, what benefit have you enjoyed? <laughs> mm. Like now you have a lot of money in your bank account, or you have built your houses, you're sending your children to school, and all of that. And you want me to tell you the song? Honestly, in song, in summary, if you in want thief. If I devise a sole do gandi, if I devise a sole do gandi, se va sole o. Thank you very much, ma. Hello. 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 Hello.